Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am in the raw right now. I color, just got done coloring my hair, waiting for that to process. So I thought I'd come on here real quick and show you guys what I did um, in my dining room, my living room, my kitchen for fall. So if that interests you, please keep watching. All right guys, every single season I change up my decor um, in my house. Um, if you guys don't already know, I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but when I was 14, my first job was as a florist. So I have fake flowers, of course. I have real indoor plants upstairs, but in my house, they're, I mean, like I always change it out to fake decor. So let's start in my kitchen. Isn't that a beautiful scenery? This is my back window. Okay. I just love this room. It's so peaceful. It's so quiet and okay. So don't mind dishes in the drainer right now. I don't have a dishwasher. You know, we're old school. No, we just don't have one. Okay. So I just want to give you guys some tips when you decorate. I just got this um, tray at Dollar General for three bucks and I got these for five bucks last year and they have like some sticks on them I just put them inside a mason jar this pumpkins from Dollar Tree this is from my girlfriend that I um, sang with at a women's retreat and these are my farmhouse canisters that are always up there's my duck so all I did was add this on the door, cute little scarecrow. And up here is some eucalyptus. And this says, be kind. This is from Target. And as you know, I love whimsical decor. So my daughter got me that little celery guy. So everything is basically the same. And my home is basically fall decor. It really is. So you really, you know, my tip for you guys is you don't have to change your other decor. Just add pieces that, you know, make you happy for fall. You know, I just have that up on the top. And, oh, guys, I am so sorry. That is such an eyesore. We had a leak from me giving my dog a bath, so we have to fix that. We're getting that fixed in a couple days. I am so sorry about that. I didn't want that in the video, but you know what? This is real. So what I did on my counter is I love sunflowers. It's my favorite flower, and so are wildflowers and beige roses, pinkish rose. Um, my husband got me this at a thrift store years ago, so I just added this cute little pumpkin guy, and these are made out of like a seagrass and I got them for a dollar at Dollar Tree so that's what and this is still here see that ba baskets you know the baskets still here my grapes that is still here the only thing I added was this little pumpkin and my my sunflowers there year round this is what I did differently in my kitchen my mom got me this beautiful portrait um well picture um, I don't remember where she got it. We love to thrift, so I thought it went perfectly under my rooster. Remember, my rooster was where my tray was. I mean, is now. And then I just have some bananas and all that good stuff. But that's what I did in here. And then on top of the fridge, I just added a little pumpkin on my um, rooster. She's just holding it. And it says, make today count for Jesus. And these are, that's Wilbur. I know. I love to decorate whims, whimsical. What we added differently is I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13. We got that at Dollar General. That was like $7. Still had my sunflower curtains up. And then we added this in here. For we love because he first loved us. Amen. And then <clears throat> I just have my sunflower curtains and my light broke up there so another tip is put a lamp in your kitchen this is so like me all all together it's just my drainer but my dishes are done so so yeah so my next tip is if you don't have light in your kitchen or you want to add some ambiance put a lamp in your kitchen then over here I put my picture up of Jesus and Mary and Martha I love that one 
He's telling her, why work so hard? Do what Mary's doing and put me first, right? <laughs> okay, so in my dining room, I made this my filming room. I mean, it always has been my filming room, but I had so much other things in here that I just took out. So let's start under the window. My um, curtain is up. It's always been up. It's like a butterfly effect that I did. All I did was take some shears and put them, um, you know, under the rod. It's like a big, long rod. Let me see if I can get closer. And I just like wrapped them around the rod, I guess you can say. Oh, you can hear the birds out there. It's so pretty. So I love to thrift, if you guys have not already know that. This I got thrift in. It says Hope on it. It's a very beautiful brass piece. I always wanted a window seat as a little girl. When I was a little girl, I'm an apartment girl, okay? I was born and raised, well, I was born in a house, then we moved to an apartment at the age of four. So all the way until the age of 21, before I got married, I lived in an apartment. So we always had maintenance in our home, never had to cut lawns, nothing like that. When we, when I got married and, you know, I'm like, you had it to cut your lawn. I was like, what is that? Like, I had no idea. <laughs> I know, don't judge me. But anyway, I had a big huge tree outside my bedroom window and I had like three windows instead of two like this I had three side by side and I can go out maybe stomach wise I'm like I can go out where my stomach is on top of the window so out the window to touch the tree so every single year I would look forward to the seasons like I would look forward to fall and I would look forward to spring I love cherry blossoms and Jersey let me tell you they have beautiful cherry blossom trees and fall is my favorite season so they I mean my my tree always turned beautiful fall colors and so that inspired me to put this stool here I love to decorate whimsical with like a boho flare, okay? So I got this pillow at Walmart for like four bucks. That's that's my devotional by Gloria Copeland. And this is my stool. My brother gave me some money for my birthday, I don't know, eight years ago. And it's a really nice um, leopard print. I love leopard. It's one of my favorite prints, that and floral. <laughs> and by the way, you can wear those together. Anyway, um, so I really love the, the aesthetic feel of this. And then, up oh, there's Nala. Nala, say hi to everybody. I just got done eating, Mom, and she just loves nature. She is such a nature girl like her mommy. Oh, she wants to run away. Oh, anyway. So down here, I got this decorative box at Dollar General. My husband went and picked them up for me. It says Home Sweet Home on it with plants. So I just put this little guy on here. He's a little scarecrow. And I love to thrift. Like I said, I got this for free. And I got this at Dollar General. It says Give Thanks on it. And another tip I have for you, when you are decorating... Always do odd numbers. So one, two, three, right? So if you put four there, it just won't look, it may look, look more cluttered. Why are you running so much? Come here. All right, she doesn't want to be filmed. All right, anyway. So I just have that in the front of my windows. This is where my desk used to be. This is where my desk used to be. Sorry about that. A phone call came in. Huh. Okay. So then I just decided to do this. And I think it's so nice for filming. It depends where I'm facing for my filming. Okay. Now I have this baker's rack. Now you guys have seen this. It's very whimsical on top, you know. We have Rabbit. He's going, you know, to get his carrots. My husband found this wheelbarrow for me. Um, and I just put him with him. Isn't he cute? And that's me and my hubby back there. We're lovebirds. This love shack is my husband had a business years ago, and we decided to keep this one. And so I'm just 
fake pothos. I love grapes. I, you know, I am Italian. You know, I'm 50% Italian. So <laughs> my brother got me this. When life makes it tough to stand, get on your knees and pray. He knows black bears are my favorite animal. And my daughter was in and out of hospitals years ago. He sent this to me for Mother's Day. My gosh, I, I will cherish this forever. So this is a metal bacon rack. And another tip I have for you guys, it doesn't matter if it's supposed to belong in a kitchen, you can put it in your dining room. I never use furniture for what it's supposed to be used for or where you're supposed to put it, right? Okay, so. Isn't this so cute? This is a leaf plate holder. I got this at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and I thought it was perfect for fall. I had this up all year, and I didn't even know it was leaves until I looked at it the other day. <laughs> isn't that funny? Anyway, isn't this a beautiful picture? Now, I got this thrifted last year. I could not hang this because, I don't know, the... Um, Little, little picture part in the back came out. I don't know what they're called, hooks or whatever. So my husband was trying to think how to do it. But then, you know, I was praying. I said, God, show me how to decorate this year. Um, I have so many beautiful pieces, unique pieces, vintage pieces, and I wanted to just incorporate them into my decor. So this is such a beautiful picture. They don't make pictures like this anymore. I love the gold gild, and of course it's fake gold, but um, it has like floral around it, and um, I just love this house. It's like a real pretty rust color roof, and it's just so fall. Now these are daisies, but that's okay. There's also something called white sunflowers, right? It doesn't matter. So I just put that in a plate holder, and I think it looks perfect there. And then I put grapes here. Now, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. So you have five, five things. And it just looks so cohesive. What do you guys think? Then down here, I love Little House on a Prairie. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. <laughs> my mom and I used to cuddle together and just watch hours of it. And do you remember how they used to wash themselves and wash their hands and things like that when they didn't have, you know, like what we have today called showers, right? So this is just a pitcher in a bowl. And my husband looked high water for this for me. My gosh. And when I'm looking for something, my hubby, my gosh, he'll go everywhere to look for me to try to find it. And he paid 20 bucks for this. Look at the detail on this. I love all those vintage, beautiful, unique pieces to add to my decor. And I think this is just such a beautiful piece to add. And it's simple. It's simple, right? It's simple. Now, this is two pieces, and I did say odd numbers. But because this is a set, it's okay. And because it's centered, it's okay. So let's go down. The baker's rack. I had this baker's rack, by the way, for years. My husband just had to glue this for me, and it was ripping a little bit, but I don't care. You know what? That adds a really nice touch to the way I decorate. Sorry about my finger. Okay, so anyway, there is so much to be thankful for. And again, one of these other seagrass pumpkins. This little guy, I got him for free. Um, he had some other type of fall leaves in him, which I did not like all of that. So I took that all out and I put a plant in from Walmart. It's fake. And it fit perfectly in there. And then I just put this pumpkin there. And when you lay your pumpkins like on a side or against something, they just look like they're meant to be that way. So that's why I do that if you're wondering. And again... One, two, three, four, five. And I found this at Walmart last year. And it was funny. I was like, wow, I'm only getting one. But I know I'm going to have use for it. And I do. And this has a really beautiful beige pumpkin on it. So I thought that looked really, really pretty. Okay. So that's the baker's rack. This is just, you know, I hope this inspires you guys you want to get out and start decorating yourself. Usually I decorate in October, but because I'm an influencer, I start early. We all do, right? Okay, this is a bookshelf. I got this at Walmart. I think it was like 30 bucks. 
it's particle board, but who cares? I have another one of those pumpkins. He just looks like he's just supposed to belong there. Here's my little frog. I got these at Dollar Tree during the springtime. You know what? I was going to put my frogs away, and I said, I'm not doing that. They deserve to be out, too. Me and my hubby, can you believe this was us? This is what we looked like. <laughs> I'm so thankful for him. Okay, another Pothels. I got this at Walmart for like 15 bucks, and that's just in a little metal tray that it came in. This is so cute, isn't this, guys? I got this for a dollar at Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree. Here's a mirror above it. Okay, isn't that nice? It's a gilded mirror. I got that years ago. Let's work our way down. There's my bears. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Amen. I got that at Dollar Tree. Another one of those little pumpkins. Another frog. I got this home from Walmart. But isn't that cute? Now, you know why I love frogs? My mom's best friend loved frogs, and she had frogs all over her house. But I love them because it means fully rely on God. And I have to remind myself that every day to rely on him, or I'm nothing without him. I got this little, little, I don't know what it is. It's not a coaster. It's just a cute little picture, I guess, but I put it behind there. That's my next tip for you guys. Just like you saw, I put my picture in a plate holder. You can also put them behind things. And you see how beautiful this looks as a group in? Now, this wouldn't be considered um, one. One, two, three is what? Anything you put behind something, it's just like a backsplash. So that wouldn't be considered. But isn't that cute? I just have a little pumpkin. I got that thrifting. Garden time. I got that thrifting. My little bears for my daughter. My husband picked up this box. This is like for index cards, but I put little pamphlet books in it. And there's my little frog. Then down here, I got that grateful <clears throat> um, little stand-up sign. Hello, Nala. I got that for $3. There's another seagrass pumpkin. And my next tip for you guys is decorate with boxes. I just keep all of my out-of-season stuff in them or some books, things like that. Boxes are so pretty to decorate with. And as you can see, I either leave them alone or I put stuff on them. So that's the bookshelf. Okay, let's go on the dining room table. You know what, we'll keep that for last. Don't mind my smoothie. I just got done doing my hair, so my smoothie is there waiting. This is a rock lamp. I got this at Walmart and I filled it with rocks. This is what you guys are gonna be the seeing, oh my gosh, the seeing. This is what you guys are gonna be seeing behind me, hopefully for my, um, when I do my hauls. I'm now, the hauls I'm gonna be doing in here are gonna be unboxings, okay? Because it's so much easier for me. Upstairs, I'm gonna be doing like Walmart hauls, unless I don't bring everything up. So we'll see. Do you hear that? Isn't that pretty? Oh, there's a little bird. I always get distracted. Look at the butterfly. Okay, let's go back. So this is what is on my desk. And this desk was given to us. I love the industrial legs on it. And that's my radio, CD player, my devotions, and another box. I have two chairs in here, I know. This one I use when I'm sitting to, you know, do my filming do my videos and this one i just keep in here my mom gave it to me so let's start here this tray one dollar last year this one dollar this thrifton this dollar general over on this side i have a grouping of three i have a beautiful pumpkin he's supposed to go like that but but my cat took it here's a little flameless candle what i did here this is a candle holder and i just wrapped some twine around it Okay, so that is just a cute little dining room area. Up here, 
I have a wreath. My mother found this thriftin for me. I love this wreath. I'm trying to, there we go. Isn't that pretty? And this is made out of cloth. Little pieces of material. And then trust in the Lord with all your heart. This is in my bedroom as well. Up here, I have a little great plate for my daughter. And over here, thankful, blessed, and grateful. My next tip for you guys, I love giving you guys tips when I do, you know, like when I decorate, make sure when you're hanging things on the wall that they're at eye level and that they're not too high from wherever you are hanging them. Do you see how beautiful this looks? If it was any higher, it wouldn't be good. And it was higher, I had to lower it because I put the desk here. So, all right, up here I just found this vine, well this garland I mean, garland of pothos at Walmart and I hung grapes from it. What are you doing? Let's check on her. Nala, get down. Oh, you're not allowed to go there. Sorry, guys. I don't know. She gets into things, and there's my good garbage can again, but I promise you we're not talking trash today. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. Um, I really love that bohemian, um, you know, a flair to my designs. I got these copper pails thrifting. I got these roosters at Walmart. That rooster's for my mom. I mean, for my um, mother-in-law. I came back in here because my cat. But and then I got these at Dollar Tree. <clears throat> my next tip for you guys is use baskets to decorate with. Baskets, baskets, baskets. As you can see, I have those tin tin pails up there. But then up here I have baskets. You're going to see baskets a lot in my house. Okay. This is my table. And I just do things that are very understated, very simple. I don't like over the top <clears throat> centerpieces because I want to have a cat. And two, it's just not me. I would love to bring some nature from outside like some pine cones some sticks and make a beautiful centerpiece in the middle then add some leaves like fake leaves and things like that but with the cat you can't but i really love what i do here so this is from thrifton beautiful tray my husband and i went together and um he was asking me what are you looking for and i told him a tray and we're in the store together and he found that one for me unbelievable right so this is Thriftin. This is just a bowl of fruit. Isn't that beautiful? And then this says B for Barbara. I got this at Dollar General last year. And this is just a design that I came up with. <clears throat> My next tip, use twine or raffia or something like that to um, wrap around beautiful, you know, containers. And my next tip is you can use any type of containers you want to to put flowers in them and i don't do real because of my cat but i got all of these from dollar tree and i just cut them up and my next tip is less is more always decorate with floral arrangements not so making it look so like stuffed is is what we would used to say you know when i used to do um floral i mean working a florist you want to, the only time <clears throat> you want to do more is if you're doing like a bouquet for a wedding or something like that, or you're doing real big, huge, huge floral arrangements and, and things like that. But understatement ones, these are just so pretty. Isn't that pretty? So that's some fake weed in there, and I'm not sure what else. I, oh, berries. And this is, I'm going to be taking this right into the winter besides that sunflower is going to be coming out of there and 
that yellow one on the other side. So that is my centerpiece. So one, two, three, four, five. See that? Okay. This is an Ashley table, but I liked in an Ashley chairs and I do have, let me see if I could show ya what's under them. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful green, but I cover them because I love that <clears throat> nature inspired feel. This runner is really nice. I love the back end of it. I got this last year at Walmart and I just love all the swirls on it, but all the colors just go beautifully in here. Okay. <clears throat> Over here, my mom, my, my mother-in-law got me this um, love picture. Love is patient. Love is kind. The first Corinthians 13. And then this beautiful um, milk can. <coughs> I got this at Walmart. I did this floral arrangement in it. I just had some sunflowers. I had some leaves. And I had some of these green, long, grassy looking things. I don't know. And I just did an arrangement with that. And... As you can see, my next tip is height. Always, when you're decorating, <clears throat> always go from short to, to tall. So you see how this is short, and then those green little things go taller, and then the picture frame goes taller, but then all the way up is my light. Okay? Over here, I have just some clustered of pictures that I got at Walmart. I kept the butterfly up because butterflies mean new beginnings, and I love butterflies. Um, that's just a really nice ambience light. I got this thrifting. <clears throat> My next tip is decorate with shelves. Look at how beautiful this looks with all these pictures i got this at walmart dollar general dollar general walmart walmart and i think some a restaurant we went to and my husband just put a shelf up for me and then this is and this is a little amish um buggy and horse i got that when we went amish country on our um one of our anniversaries and this is just a candle holder that has hearts on it. I got it during Valentine, I'm sorry, Valentine's season at Dollar Tree. I wrapped it with twine and just did the same florals that I have in my arrangement on my dining room table. Okay, so let's go down. This picture is from, oops, is from Dollar General. It just has, um, sorry guys, oh my gosh, eh. okay, it has, um, apples in it, I don't know why it's not okay. letting me, the next thing, my mom blessed this to me, it's just a beautiful fern, fake of course, got this from Benny Hinn Ministries, Another frog, he's just relaxing, and it teaches me to relax. And this is just um, a thrift a thrift find. It's a great basket, and I added some thrift pumpkins, another one of those seagrasses, and some of those wheats, wheat stems. Down here, another box. I kept a bird and a butterfly. It's getting a little dark down there, I apologize. And that's just... Um, that's from my aunt, who, who is with Jesus right now. She um, knew I loved grapes, so she gave that, that to me. Another box, little bird for my daughter, big, huge basket, and a bear. So that's what I did on this side. On this wall, I just kept up my ladder. This is one of my first thrift finds when I first got married. Up here, I just have some grapes and baskets again. And there you go. I have a canister in here. 
Don't they belong in the kitchen? Another plant. Some birds hiding. Beautiful vintage teapot from a pastor friend. And now let's go and look in the hutch. Okay, is that too much light? Hmm, that might be too much. Okay, so as you can see, a decorated basket. This is um my husband. Okay, I had... I, I got this from a really good friend of mine years ago, the vine of, you know, how you stay connected, you know, to Jesus and everything. And um, I don't know what happened to the glass, but I bought a picture from Dollar Tree and I was no longer using it. So we kept the glass and my husband did that last night for me. And I was like, thank you so much. And these are just some angels that I got thrift in. This is thrift in. That I bought at a boutique. Those are Dollar Tree. You come down and another arrangement. And this is one of those angels with no faces. Um, I forgot the name of these. They're called Willow Tree. I love these. I got this for 50 cents. My husband got me this, this tray at the thrift store. I got these pumpkins, guys. Look at how beautiful these are. They're going to see in my living room, too. This is something you would find at Home Goods. I got this for a dollar. And this is just a candle holder with a little leaf on it. Got it last year at Dollar Tree and added some more flowers in it. These beautiful angels, I got these at Dollar Tree. She is holding a book down here. She's holding a plant. Got these little birds. This is a leaf. So that's perfect for fall. This is for my brother for my birthday years ago. And then begin each day with a grateful heart. You saw this in my bedroom and I moved it here. So. This is the floral arrangement that I did. See how simple and understated that is. But my gosh, you know, and also when you're designing um, any type of arrangements, you always want to um, start from the middle and work your way around. Or you can do it the other way. Just make sure you work good with heights. And that's it. And this has been with us for many, many years. And this is my hutch. I don't know why this is not. Okay. So <clears throat> this is the dining room. Just wanted to show you guys what I did differently. I know I get a lot of questions and a lot of comments of how, you know, to do, you know, like how to organize, how to decorate, d d different things like that. A lot of my friends on here know that I love to decorate. So, all right, let's go into the living room. Pebbles, say hi. Say hi. Okay. So my next tip for you is if you have a walkway, hang up a curtain. Doesn't that look pretty? It looks so nice. <coughs> In the winter, I um, keep it down to keep the draft out. But I just think it looks so nice to, to divide rooms, right? Okay, so up here I just have a shelf with my bears, and this is, that's always been there. This is new. This used to be walking up my stairs, and now I have it hanging next to my chair. And of course, it's very fall inspired, right? And down here I just have a really nice lamp with a cute little, remember the height, that's higher. This is lower, right? So short tall <clears throat> that's just some books down there i have and then i just keep all of like i am such an organized person <laughs> and i i write lists i mean guys another video i'm gonna be doing is what's on my list and the things that i've been buying off that list to check them off okay <clears throat> first let's say hi to pebbles hi pebbles Say hi. Okay. 
So my next tip for you guys, if you don't have a lot of storage, get some storage. These are beautiful ottomans. This was $10 from Walmart. I keep my um, seasonal blankets in here and my pet toys. And my next tip is add some cozy blankets to start, you know, feeling that, that um, fall in the air in your home, right? I got these, and these look like striations of like, I don't know, something with like um, sticks, right? So I really like that. My next tip is add pillows, but I had a different color pillow, which is these down here. They're put away. You can't really see them, but they're like a coral green. <clears throat> add fall colors. So I just picked up these pillow covers at Walmart and put them on existing pillows and it instantly looks fall, right? Over here, I just put one of those other pumpkins again. That's my daughter's graduation. She um, got her bachelor's in criminal justice, but she's a supervisor now at a spa. <coughs> I just have a little fox inside of a lantern, more plants. I don't know what my cat's doing. More baskets to hide my husband's gamer controllers. And then down here, these are just some um, type of, uh, I forgot what they're called. My husband kept his game controls in them. I just wrapped it up with seagrass and added some pine cones. Over here, that's from Dollar General. That just says thankful. Down here, the same thing. And then over here, it's basically everything's the same. <coughs> so, and this is the couch, one of those other blankets. And then I just added my, oh, there's hubby. And then I added my... Um, pillows and then up here I found this at Dollar General Isn't that cute and it says teeth you know for our last name and <clears throat> that little pumpkin I found him at Dollar General and that pine cone um, they came in a pack and then my bear hanging and our fish tanks are not on so I'm not going to show them unless hubby wants to turn them on real quick to show but that's up to him but anyway guys thank you so much for coming along on this tour with me today i would love to hear your comments down below what was your favorite and what do you do to decorate for fall do you just add different colors in your home like with pillows and blankets or you know do you decorate like me more more whimsical what do you guys do and in my bedroom, I just added a cute little gold pumpkin. You'll see that in one of my hauls. And that's it. I just kept it very understated in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have a stitch fix coming next week. I'm so happy. Fall is here. It's my favorite season. And I have some good pieces in there to share with you. And I also have an Amazon try before you buy coming up soon. And I have a Walmart haul coming up. I have an Amazon haul. I mean, there's so much coming up, guys. And I'm always on vlogging. But if you guys like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. And hit that notification bell. And you'll never miss a single video that I post. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to, enjoy, if you want to come along on this journey with me on YouTube. I am so happy for all of my wonderful new subscribers. And, of course, the ones who have been subscribed to me. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And that's why I keep bringing videos to you like this and content. Because you guys keep liking what I'm bringing. So, that's why I need the thumbs up. So, I know to keep bringing more like this. Alright, guys. You have an amazing day. Be blessed. Guys, I almost forgot. Eh, oh my gosh. What a day. Okay. So my last tip for you guys is I got this wreath at Dollar General. 
and I just added some fall decor to it. So again, the same floral colors that are in my dining room and in my kitchen, I just stuck in here, pine cones and everything. And I kept it very simple so I don't have it all over, making it look really messy. I just have it like this. So guys, let me know what you think. And this is just a wreath holder that I use, I got for, from Dollar Tree. And I just want to show you my outside real quick. This is what my outside looks like to get my nail. And I just have a little, little scarecrow saying welcome. That's an ottoman that we keep our shoes in because we don't bring shoes in our home. We have green carpet on our, on our porch. So, <clears throat> oh, and let me show you this real quick, what I did. I did this, I actually had this um, from a bonsai tree and I just put a lot of different fake succulents in it. But that's gonna be coming down. And again, this is just a stick my husband found. That's gonna be coming down and I'm gonna be doing something else. Come on, Pebbles, get in the house. Oh, I gotta get the cat. Sorry about that, guys. Real life here. Nala, what are you doing? She ran outside, I had to grab her. My dog was barking because she thought I was leaving her. Yes, you did. Mama will never leave you. Wanna say goodbye to everybody? This is Nala. Yes, say hello. Say hi. Say hello. I'm going to my bed, Mom. I'm going to be a good girl now. I'm so sorry. All right, guys. Have an amazing day.